In work without email, author Carl Newport presents some key principles to centralize processes, whether in a knowledge management world or content production in one place, digitally, to collaborate effectively and follow the whole process without the need to use hyperactive hive mind workflows, but rather using one place that's the source of truths for everyone in the business. And this writing operating system takes those principles and applies them to your writing process. So if you are a writer and you plan to focus on one article at a time and to centralize your workflows in one place from the writing all the way to the publication stage, this system can be for you. Let's dive into it. Because there are two fundamental databases here and they are related directly with each other. There is a writing platforms database and a writings pipeline. The platforms database stores all those places or sort of buckets where you write. And the writings database is the main pipeline where collaboration can happen and where you can have an overview of everything that's going on and all the pieces and the stage in the production pipeline. Whereas the main dashboard, this one right here, is the place to focus, where you can have an inbox to quickly capture ideas when they come up. And you also have the writing focus of the week, where you can just see what you plan to work on right now. And that's an important feature of this system because it's optimized for focused attention on one or two pieces at a time. And we have a specific property for that. But let's start from writing platforms. So this database is quite simple. There are two views. There's a gallery view and there's a table view. And here you see some example platforms. Platforms can be your personal blog, so your website. It can be your YouTube channel for which you want to write scripts. It can be TechCrunch or the New York Times and whatever type of publication you have. If you want to create a new platform, you can use the template available right here new platform dashboard and when you do so you will have a predefined structure on the page where you can see all the writings from the writings database for this platform specifically right here on the page and at the beginning this is going to be empty but as you start to work on things and relate a writing to this platform then those writings will flow into this dashboard and be shown based on the status and so here you're gonna specify the name of the platform here you can see there is a re direct relation between platforms and writings and that's where that's specified. And then there is a formula that shows the total number of writings for this platform. And you have the option to archive a platform by checking the box archive. The total number of scripts or articles you are writing for any given platform appears on the card right here. For the New York Times, for example, there are two total articles written or in progress. Now, let's go to the main database here, the writings pipeline, and that's primarily a board view. So it's a board view that groups each of your writing into a status from idea, in progress, editing, ready for publication, all the way to published. But you can visualize the same exact information in different manners, like in a table format or in a table by platform, where each platform is a toggle that you can expand to see only the content for that platform directly from here. You can see a publication calendar based on the publication date of an article. And you can see a writing timeline calendar based on the week on which you plan to focus on the production of a specific content. And we're going to understand how this works later on. Finally, there is also a timeline view where you can see when you plan to write or work on any given article right here. So let's go back to the main board view and let's create a new article by using the template here. If it's a YouTube script, you can use this template right here. If it's an article, you can use this other template. Let's assume for this example that we're going to create a new article. So let's use this template and we will have a predefined structure, which of course is a suggestion that you're free, definitely free, to edit and you can do so you can edit a template in notion by clicking on the drop down menu here on the new button and then you're going to choose you're going to select the three dots 
and then click edit. In this case, let's go to untitled, that is the one we just created, and give this a title. Status can be idea all the way to published, and those are the same statuses that are on the board. At first, this is going to be an idea, let's say. Second, we're going to define the relation to the platform. For which platform are you writing this content? In this case, let's assume this is for TechCrunch. The length is a property that specifies what's the estimated length of this piece of content. Less than 1000 words, between 1000 and 3000 words, or more than 3000 words. And you can edit the tags here at any given time. Topic. Here you can specify which topic or topics this article explains. In this case, we might say this is technology. And you can add your own topics or delete the ones right here by clicking the three dots and then choose delete. The writer is a person property where you can select the individual who's going to walk, who's going to be the writer. So chances are this is you watching this video. And in this case, we can select the writer right here. And the editor can be an external person. If he or she is part of your Notion workspace, then you can select them from here. Otherwise, this is going to be empty. But the idea of this system is to be a comprehensive place that is centralized and optimized for collaboration. So if you are an advanced writer and you collaborate with an external editor, ideally, you can centralize your process here, both for writing and editing. But if not, that's not the case, you can still use this system for yourself to keep track of all your content production and the stages. The writing timeline is supposed to be a date range where you intend to focus on the production of the specific article or piece of content. And so here, let's say I want to focus on this next week. And so I'm going to choose a start date, that is Monday the 21st. And then I'm going to toggle this on, end date, and choose the end date for the writing timeline. And the publication date is when this article is going to be published. Here, there's also a file property where you can attach or embed links to graphic assets that you're going to use for your article or YouTube video or script. Now, because we chose a template, there are some predefined sections. First of all, there's a toggle for title ideas, and here you can list ideas for titles that you might have for this specific piece of content. There are also two boxes, one for why are you writing this? That's a question for you to understand what's the reason behind this article, what's the purpose, why are you doing this, what is the impact of this content, and who is the archetypal reader? So this box gives you the opportunity to define a persona, as in um, UX design, that is the ideal reader of this article and what's the value for them. The research stage section is for research. And so here you can list the resources that you have and then take notes about them inside the toggle directly. So all your resources are going to be here directly on the article page easy to reference from here. And the production stage is where you can write. So unless you use an external writing software and you are okay with that, then you can directly write in Notion as well. And here you can just add a new draft page and then you can call this. And then you can write. And the collaboration features in Notion allows you to also centralize that aspect if you wish because your editor for example can come here and select specific text or an entire paragraph and then comment on it to leave suggestions or space for improvements and then you can iterate on the draft based on that finally there is a standard publication stage checklist and these are some checkboxes that you might want to consider before publishing an article. But of course, you might have your own workflow 
And in that case, you can just edit the checklist directly from the template right here. And now from here, from the writings pipeline, you can see all your articles and scripts across every platform and the stage. So you know that whatever is on the idea at some point needs to be moved to in progress, or it can be discarded and deleted. And every writing piece of writing after having gone through the editing stage can go to published. And if you collaborate with an external editor or a team of people working on a specific piece of content, then you might just define specific areas of responsibility for those people, like for the editor. The editor knows that whatever piece of content is under editing is their responsibility. And so whatever is here, they can work on this, leaving comments on the script or following the processes that you specify internally for your workflows. And from the main dashboard instead, you can quickly capture ideas from here, from the new button. And you can also see the writings you are focusing on this week based on the writing timeline that you define when creating a new article or piece of content that you produce. And the idea of this dashboard is that you can just be here. If you are a writer and you don't need to care about the other stages in the pipeline, you can just be here in the dashboard and understand what you are focusing on right now, this week, what you need to research, what you need to produce, write and take notes on is right here based on the writing timeline that you specify when creating a new article. And you can walk directly on the page and once you're done, you can just change the status from in progress to editing or whatever the case may be. And that's it. That's the writing operating system. The main principle behind the system is focus. It is collaboration in a team or between two people, a writer and an editor. And the main goal is focus, centralization of systems and collaboration and focus on the articles where you can research, produce and edit all in one place. And that's the writing operating system. You can find the link in the description of the video. Thank you for watching and see you soon.